Hey guys, how are you all doing? Sorry for the background noise today. Uh, we have got some stuff going on in the background, so there will be some noise. Um, we're going to be doing another pocket trip video. Now, I'm sorry for missing last week's video. I know I said one a week. We're back to one a week. My laptop hasn't been itself. And if you've watched my channel update video, you know that I've got a PC which I built last week for my birthday, which was Saturday. So we're back up and running, as usual. And um, we'll be back to weekly videos of Pocket Chip. So today we're going to look on running Vice on Pocket Chip and playing Commodore 64 games on Pocket Chip. First thing you're going to need is your Pocket Chip. Second thing you're going to need is a USB stick. And lastly, a tutorial which we're going to follow together. So first you're going to want to do a sudo apt get update as soon as you boot up your Pocket Chip. And once we've done that, we need to type in sudo at get and we're going to want to put install and space and then vice now I'm going to do lowercase so we'll see if this works lowercase but we may need an uppercase v but that is roughly what your command should look like and then we hit the enter. So once we do that, it'll tell us, do you want to install this? Yes, of course we do. So we hit the Y button. And we press enter and we should install Vice. But at this point, Vice is installed after this. Uh, Debian, however, doesn't include the kernel images necessary for running the emulators, so we have to get them from somewhere. And we'll be using some commands we've used previously in the past. Now it's quite a long command and there are some commands here we haven't actually used at all in the past. We've just got to hope that we do it correctly in order for it to work. But we have to press wget which is what we have been using for the past few videos and then we go straight into a HTTP command uh, which is HTTP and we need a semicolon so the function and the M button forward slash forward slash and this is quite a long one guys so you're going to want to get it right first time it's www.zimmers.net zimmers.net forward slash and I'm going to get it wrong if I keep going there we go forward slash uh, we're going to want to put in uh, a n o n f t p like so. Uh, I think that's f t p. Yep. So then we're going to go forward slash public. So p u b uh, forward slash c b m forward slash cross platform uh, forward slash emulators forward slash and then we want vice but vice has to be in capitals here so shift everything and we should be alright so we got vice forward slash old forward slash vice and then we're going to want to put in a dash so forward slash old forward slash vice dash 1.5 point five and then another dash and then roms dot 
actually, yeah, T A R dot G Z. Now let's double check that. And it is Vice. Yep, yep. I think that's correct. So if we read that out, cross platform emulators, Vice, old Vice. Oh. Yep. So that is what the command should look like, guys. Right there. You should have something like that. And we're going to want to press enter. And it says we've done something, which is always good because we like this done something screen. Usually it's a done nothing screen and we're kind of confused and lost. This time it's shown us that it's done something. Good stuff. On to the next command. So we've got T A R. And then we're going to want to put in X V Z F. Like so. And a space. Vice. Dash 1.5 ROMs, so 1.5, and then dash, and then ROMs, like so, and then dot tar, dot tar, dot g z. That should be your next command, I believe. Now, we've got to hope this works because I've never done these commands before. We've never done these commands before, but that is your next command, and it is quite a weird one. So, we're going to have to press enter here and hope to God something happens. Boom, something's happened. Ah, good stuff. And then we're going to want to type in cd, and then vice, and again, it's, you know, 1.5 rom, so it's basically the same directory we've been using. Uh, I think it's 1.5, yeah, ROMs, forward slash, and that was not forward slash, that was shift, forward slash, data, and then we're going to want to press enter here, so CD, voice, um, we actually have missed out something here, so we need to go, have we? CD, voice, no we haven't, my bad, we learn as we go, roms, forward slash data, so that is the right command here, we've got CD, voice, dash, 1.5 roms, forward slash, data, and we press enter, well nothing's happened, so press it again, Right, we're there, we're there now. So, we've got voice data, that's what we've got. And then we want to go to sudo, and then cp, and then minus or dash rv, and then star, but it's kind of confusing as to whether there's a space between the star or not. I'm presuming there is a space. Yes, there is a space. And then we want a star. And for a star, we've got to look at the keyboard and it's number 8. So I think it's a function. No. Is it shift and then 8? Shift and then 8. And then we get a star. Um, and then. I believe we've got another space forward slash USR forward slash LIB forward slash vice. So this is your next command, guys. Should look something like this by now. And then we press enter, and it does ask for a password for chip so we're just going to want to type in chip uh, if that is your default password which it should be and boom so we've done something which is always good I'm not sure what we've done there but we've done something um, and that should be it 
we should have done something. So we should be able to execute x64 from the command line and get a c64 ready prompt. But the default settings are not suitable and they have no sound. So we're going to have to open the settings menu. But we can see right now that we actually have nothing on the screen. So we're going to have to kind of figure out what we've got to do um, which could take a bit of time so bear with me while I figure this out hey guys so what you're going to want to do is actually type in C64 reboot your pocket chip type in uh, no X64 sorry type in X64 uh, in the in the terminal and it will boot up and then we're going to want to go to settings now this thing is a bitch to get to because even with a stylus uh, it can bring up another menu um, so it's a pain in the ass it may take some time to actually get to this uh, be warned uh, once we get here though we're going to want to change some settings because the default settings aren't good enough for pocket chip because pocket chip uh, screen obviously is tiny so what we're going to want to do is go down to the A uh, we're going to want to get into the settings first off and go down to the VIC2 settings um, so we'll we'll go down um, using the arrow keys on the pocket chip because otherwise you'll be tapping the screen and you know you really don't want to do that so we're going to go down to VIC2 settings here and go across and first off we're going to want to basically switch off the double size and disable the hardware scaling uh, so we want to disable the double size right and then we're gonna want to get back on that menu so like so and go back down uh, disable the size, disable hardware scaling and excuse the background noise guys, I do live next to an air airport so alright, so I'm going to go down to VIC2 settings and I skipped right past it because I'm trying to do this quickly and we're going to want to take off the hardware scaling down here so the hardware scaling there uh, we're actually going to want to switch that off uh, by pressing enter and that should switch it off and again we're going to want to get back up into those settings and we're going to want to go to uh, the sound settings and change the sound device uh, in order for this to work so we want to go to sound device name I want to go down to else Elsa ALSA which you can see on the screen right now and press enter okay so once we're ready once we've done those things we can then plug in a USB stick and we should be able to load a cartridge uh, I'm not sure how we're going to do this, but if we go down to here, go to the 4 gigabyte volume, which will be at the bottom there, and we've got a couple of images already in here. For some reason, it doesn't scale the screen correctly here, though. So the screen is a bit off, but your USB will usually be at the bottom, and at the end, it will have volume. Now, if you're like me, you have lots of folders in USB, don't worry. Um, the folders will show up, but the games or anything else you've got on there won't show up unless it's the correct file type. And as you can see, we've got a game here, which we can just press enter, and this is Gianna Sisters, and we should be able to load that up and get ready to go. Uh, so we want to... How do we do this? Uh, 
Right, so we want to attach a tape image. Is that right? I have no clue here. Okay. It says we can mount a tape image. Also, you, you know. Let's have a look. We've got a cartridge image, we don't want to do that, we want to attach disk image, attach tape image. Let's see what happens if we go down to play here. Does it do anything? Nope. This is annoying. Fuck off. Attach tape image. Alright, we should have a couple of tape images in here. So we should be able to just press enter. And we have attached it. <laughs> it says attached. Um, but I'm not sure how we how we uh how we um run this um how we actually boot it uh, I'm kind of confused Let's go to smart attach disk slash tape and see if this helps. We're learning this together guys, so don't worry. Whoa. We want this one here. Or this one here. It says ready, but I'm not entirely sure how we out of data error. Attach tape image. Attached. Okay, guys, I'm not really not sure what we're doing here or how to get this to work. Um, I'm hoping that someone else can actually tell me what I'm doing wrong because there's, there's always user error here. We've got this far, we can't be that far away from from booting up a game um, and actually going a bit further. I'm really not sure what we do. Uh, possibly we need to do something. I've never used the Commodore before so I have no clue. But we've got this far we should have everything ready now um, in order to get further into it um, if you guys know what you're doing please let me know in the comment section below and uh, if you guys want to go into your settings and actually save the settings before you leave this um, here then do so uh, then you won't have to do it ever again. But this is a tutorial on how to get Commodore 64 on the pocket chip. And I shall see you soon. Cheers.